it's a fact of life. Sometimes things go wrong, no matter how hard we try. One of the biggest headaches for manufacturers like us is effluent management. Oily effluent, to be specific. It not only causes a nuisance, but it can severely damage our reputation and the environment, of course. And yet, there does not exist a reasonable solution to this problem. In this video, let's try to find a solution for this. Apart from the environment damage, oil in the effluent leads to increased health risks for humans and animals exposed, as well as an inability for the manufacturing companies to meet the stringent pollution control board norms. These problems stem from fats, oils, grease and sludge from your effluent. And hence, it is absolutely crucial that you have a proper system in place for monitoring these contaminants. Regularly testing your effluent will keep you ahead of these issues before they become critical. When we think of effluent, the first thing that comes to our mind is wastewater. However, effluent is not restricted to only water. It can also mean gas or solid matter. In fact, in simpler terms, effluent can be any waste that comes out of your manufacturing facility. Regardless of the type of effluent, one thing remains the same. All of them cause excessive damage to the environment. And hence, industries of any type should follow regulation to control such industrial discharges. We are creating more waste every year. In fact, according to the figures by the Water Project, humans generate 1.3 trillion gallons of wastewater every single day. To give you a perspective, that is like filling the Empire State Building in New York 32 times. And that's not even the worst part. We treat only 10% of this sewage before we discharge it back into the rivers or oceans worldwide. That means we are letting around a trillion gallons of sewage back in the ocean every single day. Now let that sink in for a moment. The environmental impact of untreated sewage are devastating, killing fish, wildlife and even harming the local ecosystems. And hence manufacturers have to treat their effluent coming out from their factories, sewage plants and other industries before letting it out into the open river or water systems. We learn this in school that polluted water is not safe for human consumption. Even if you might not be staying near any big industrial area that release untreated effluent in the nearby water systems. But still, untreated effluent, even if released thousands of miles away from you, has the potential to contaminate your drinking water supply. As you might be aware, manufacturing facilities generate this wastewater through various manufacturing processes. And hence they are mandated by law or it is part of their licensing protocol to have an effluent treatment plant or ETP present on site to treat this wastewater before releasing it back into the environment. The main objective of effluent treatment plants is to reduce the concentration of these pollutants such as suspended solids or biological oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand or even heavy metals from the water to levels which are safe for humans and the environment. And ETPs achieve this by various processes such as oxidation or filtration or separation methods and destroy these contaminants before letting out the effluent. On the other hand, anaerobic treatment systems do not add any oxygen to the wastewater which helps break down the inorganic waste using anaerobic bacteria. One can judge the amount of industrialization in a country by the number of ETPs. In a country like India, effluent treatment plants are common because of the size of our industry. However, manufacturers do not effectively use or maintain them. The first step in solving this problem of oily effluent is to know how much oil is present in your effluent. Now this can be done by having proper water monitoring systems in place which will not only help you meet the stringent pollution control board norms but also 
help you reduce the cost of water treatment. Nowadays, because of the stringent norms laid down by the state pollution control boards, the authorities expect you to keep extensive records of all the waste that goes into the effluent and how is your effluent treatment plant working. And these water monitoring systems, especially if they have any oil sensors or sensors which can detect the amount of oil present in your effluent will help you create a better credibility in their eyes which will help you stay ahead of various issues before they become critical. The best solution to deal with the free floating oil from the ETPs is to have an effective skimmer. Now I know that there exists a number of different varieties of skimmers to choose from. Hence my recommendation is to use a tube skimmer because a tube skimmer can have an adjustable length of endless tube which can rotate along the entire surface of your ETP tank and collect oil from various locations or various corners of the tank. And hence the chances of oil causing any problems in the effluent reduce considerably because the tube skimmer tends to remove the oil faster than the rate of oil addition. Some other advantages of using a, a tube skimmer are that they are not dependent or it does not matter to the tube which oil is removing. It can be crude oil, it can be lubricating oil, it can be hydraulic oil, it can be viscous or diesel oil, any kinds of oil. As long as it sticks to the tube, it will be removed. Now the beauty of this tube is that it is oleophilic, that is it attracts the oil. Now if you have seen any oil floating on top of tank, generally it is not in particles, it is in the form of chains. So if you can imagine that if you pull one end of the chain, the other end of the chain also tends to come towards it. So tube skimmer in that aspect can remove much more amount of oil than its design capability. Moreover, it can remove the oil continuously and automatically. Nobody needs to attend to it. It usually generally has only a motor and uh, unless and until the motor is working, the tube skimmer will work. Now the tube skimmers that we make, we use ceramic parts because the oil which is attracted to the tube needs to be scraped off. Now the advantage of ceramic parts for scraping is that they don't wear out as easily as plastics. And using metallic parts is not suggested because that might cause breakage in the tubes used. Now let me share with you some practical challenges that arise when dealing with this free floating oil in the ETP. These challenges I have learned through interactions with various ETP consultants, manufacturers, even ETP users and as a manufacturer of some equipment like skimmer for this ETP industry for more than a decade. Now number one is that none of these shareholders or stakeholders as you may call it consider presence of oil as a KPI that is a key performance indicator for their ETP. Let me just explain. Oil content in the effluent affects the BOD and COD of the effluent water that is the biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand and ETPs do monitor this BOD and COD as a KPI. Now one might argue that uh, the presence of oil since we are tracking the BOD and COD, the oil gets tracked in that and hence we have a solution. However, in practice, many consultants or even ETP manufacturers tend to cut corners while selecting the best skimming or oil removing equipment for their ETP. There can be other equipment which may be expensive to handle this BOD and COD issue. And hence, if we make the oil content as a KPI in the ETP, then surely all the stakeholders will make sure that the best possible equipment is selected for handling this issue. Second point that I would like to make you aware of is that some solution providers suggest using chemicals which disintegrate this uh, free floating oil in the effluent. Now one might think that this is such a simple solution 
you just put some chemicals in your ATPs and your problem of oily effluent is solved. But just wait a minute. Do consider the fact that a good quality skimmer is a one-time expense and it has no consumable or there is no running expense to it. However, if you decide to put chemicals inside your effluent, it will be added to your monthly expense bill. So it's your call whether you want to invest upfront in a good quality, non-consumable type of capital good or you want to spend on constant consumables like chemicals, which by the way, the amount of chemical that you will require will increase with your increased load of oil in the ETPs. Moreover, there might be a chance that you might have to add some extra equipment or employ some other process in the ETP to handle the chemicals which you have put in to handle the oil. The third and the most dangerous approach to solve this problem of oily effluent is to have quick fix or as in India we call it jugad. Now if you observe carefully the daily oil addition rate in your ETP tanks is not worth considering. So is the popular opinion. The problem arises if you don't have an effective oil skimmer to remove this oil that gets added every day and then huge amounts of oil gets accumulated over time and then the blame game starts between the user of the ETP and the manufacturer of the ETP. And then to solve the problem temporarily, the engineers come up with some quick fix solutions or some band-aid solutions like employing some people temporarily to remove the uh, oil manually or I have seen people put newspapers or some cloth like material on top of the ETPs to soak up the oil which is later squeezed off. Now all these solutions are like I said band-aid solutions. They are not permanent solutions. The main root cause of how to remove this oil from your effluent every day is the main solution that needs to be addressed. The fourth reason that I have experienced for this in ETP solution is that this whole effluent treatment plant and water treatment plant business is highly competitive. There are a lot of companies aiming for the same amount of projects which claim that they give the best solution for the lowest price. And you heard it right. If the price is low, that particular solution provider wins the business. Now that gives the signal to these uh, solution providers to reduce the cost wherever possible. And the first acts falls on these small equipment like the tube oil skimmer or any effective oil skimmer. Simply because nobody cares about whether there is oil in their effluent or not or how effective it is being removed. Since I, coming back to my first point, oil is not a KPI. Nobody is checking oil content in their effluent. However, when it comes to the pollution control board authorities, they are going to question the users, that is the manufacturer who are using these ETPs. They are not going to be concerned who installed these ETPs or who are the manufacturers of these ETPs. So if there are any fines or if there is any loss of reputation, it is of the manufacturer who is using the this, these ETPs. Hence, it is my appeal to all manufacturers to consider these equipment, whatever equipment you are putting in, in your effluent treatment plant as seriously and consider their design in an engineering way. And hence, these problems go unnoticed because of the growth that we want in our society and the consumption of natural resources that goes on in the disguise of development. And hence, it is my appeal to all engineers or all manufacturers to come together and face these problems head on. Because only when we will stand together and when we will think about these problems in an integrated approach, only then we will be able to truly solve these hard questions. Hi, 
my name is ajinkya and if you are part of a manufacturing community then i would want you to be a little bit productive a little bit efficient and hence i am making videos like these if you like them please subscribe